Hi, I'm Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today we're going to have a play and experiment with um, newly in stock milk paint. Um, really excited. I've bought this fabric because I want it to um, look really pretty in French. Um, so that's going to go on the stall eventually, but that was the starting point for choosing a colour scheme. So I've measured out this tub of sea salt, which is a nice blue. And I'm going to pour that into my mixing tub. I'm then going to measure, this actually isn't a bottle of wine, it's nice warm water. I'm going to measure exactly the same amount of warm water and pour it into my tub as well. Like so. And I'll give it a bit of a stir. This, by the way, is Chalky, who's absolutely going potty in the shop today. He knows when the camera's out. Right, so I'm mixing it up. And what I'm going to add to the mix is this stuff called bonding agent. And bonding agent is used um, for surfaces that are non-porous to help it stick to. So I don't know, this is, feels quite shiny, so I think it might be a problem to stick. So I'm going to add as recommended, half the amount of the paint. So I've done half a pot, so I'm going to add it. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is give it a really good stir for several minutes to make sure it's properly uh, mixed up. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all mixed. Right. right, so I have mixed it all up quite thoroughly. Looking like a delicious, nice, quite thick paint. There's a few little lumps in there, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, we've obviously taken the glass off, taken the mirror off. We've decamped the drawers. We've taken the... Uh, fixing handles off and giving it a thoroughly, a thoroughly good clean but that's all I've done so I want to see how this milk paint works so I wanted to get create a layered um, chippy paint effect I don't know if that's going to work but we'll give it a go so this blue is going on underneath um, and then the white's going to go on the top so as you can see I might not paint the whole thing in blue but just sort of significant areas where I'm expecting it to be distressed back and show. But we'll see how far the blue that I've mixed goes. And if I've got enough, I'll carry on. So I think looking at it as it goes on, it's going to need a second coat. Because it's not, it's a gorgeous colour, isn't it? You've got to admit. Right, so once we've got the blue everywhere and a second coat on, we'll show you what we can do next. All right. Right, as you can see, we've had a little bit, a little bit of a disaster, frankly. So I painted two layers on um, where you can see that it is now white. And as it was drying, we noticed huge bits of it was peeling off, particularly on the top. Not so much on the drawers. The drawers are, are quite good. And more what I was expecting in terms of a chippy look. Um, so, don't know if there was, we did clean the, the top of this in exactly the same way as we cleaned the rest, so I don't really know what's caused it, but the um, surface was quite shiny in itself. So what we've done is, gone over with the sandpaper, sort of got rid of all the obvious loose bits, and tried to give it a gentle sand everywhere, and we're going to now go over it with some white, which is what I'd intended to do anyway, and see if that holds, see if the key helps. So we'll come back to you when we've got to that stage and hopefully no more disasters. All right. New day. Yesterday we had a few disasters and a few learning lessons to be honest, which is all good because that's what happens when you use a new product. It isn't chalk paint, it's milk paint. And what I've learned is that putting it on melamine shiny surfaces, you definitely need to sand it down because having done that and then put the white on the top, it's stuck. And it's stuck really, really hard. Come back to it today and just been gently rubbing down with some sandpaper and it's really hard to rub off, much harder than with the chalk paint. So, you know, now it's solid and it's lesson learned, I'll definitely do that again. Key your piece of furniture with some sandpaper, 
use the bonding agent and perhaps use a little bit extra than what's recommended when it's shiny as this was and, and I think you'll be fine. So what we let we obviously as a result of the decisions that we made and the things that happened yesterday we've lost all the blue that was underneath and I can't rub it back it doesn't it's so hard to rub back I can't get it. So I've still got some blue left and I've watered it down really watered it down and we're going to try some ragging technique on the top because I still want a subtle bit of blue showing through to go with our lovely fabric. So I've got myself a damp cloth and I've got a very watery brush so I'm going to, as you can see it's very watery, just do a little area. And while it's still wet, I'm going to use the cloth. Oh, look at that, that's quite nice, isn't it? To give us a texture and a pattern. Like that a lot. So I'm going to do that over the whole of the piece. I think that's, that's really cool. Okay, we'll see you when we've done it all. Right, so I think you'll agree this um, ragging effect just looks amazing. I'm so chuffed with it. I can't begin to tell you how chuffed I am with it and it literally took us 15 minutes I think to do the whole piece and it was just just a question of working really quickly one of us brushing the other one ragging um, I love it. We've covered the stall I think the colours just match perfectly and the other thing that we've done is painted the hardware that was on there because if you remember that was a slightly tarnished gold colour and I didn't think that really went with it so we've painted it silver with Frenchine and the last thing that we're going to do for this minute is some silver foil. I've put some Artisan Enhancements foil size um, which is like a clear sticky liquid on all of the raised areas and to speed the process up we've blasted it with a hairdryer um, otherwise you could just leave it for half an hour but it, it needs to be tacky but not feeling like there's dust coming away with you so that's the point when you know it's ready to use. I then ordered um, some Artisan Enhancement Silver Foil and I'm going to show you how easy this is to work. You'll be amazed. So I just literally spread it over and I use my fingers to press it into all of the area that I painted. Okay, and then I'll just peel it back. Look at that, lovely twinkly, and if I think I've missed a bit, I can put, put it back down. Looks so pretty. So I'm going to go round, and, and I've done it on all of the raised pieces, I'm going to go round and complete the silver look. <laughs> silver shine to uh, the handles just to bling it in and we did the same with the silver foil to the mirror didn't think the mirror needed the blue I think it's enough with the white so and then all that was left to do was um, finish the whole of the surface in a clear wax with exception to this area here this paint is really new to me I've not got enough experience with it yet and I still feel like I need to trial and error on different surfaces because this bit here was really quite chippy and a big section chipped off too much for what I wanted. It didn't look right in keeping with the rest of it. So I ended up chipping off the whole lot and putting some silver foil on it instead to cover it. And I think it covers really well and, we, and we've got round it. But again, as I'm saying, I still need to sort of practice on different surfaces to get the finished look that I want and get used to using it. But it's just gorgeous. It's just so pretty. You can't argue with that. I was just so chuffed with it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you'll consider having a go with Milk Paint and watch my progress as I get better and more confident with it. Um, please subscribe to my channel and follow my page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash The Important Furniture. Thank you. Till next time.